So when you update the OBD scans or FST, one of those versions of scan tool, download the document we send you. The Google Drive will be a zip drive. You'll need a Windows computer to update it. You also need the USB cable that came in the kit and the OBD2 scans tool itself. So what you want to do is you want to plug the scan, the cable in the bottom, plug that into your laptop, and then go from there. Once the file's down and loaded, just use whatever um, extraction software you have to extract the files, and then you're going to get a folder that looks like this. So now what we just want to do now is we have the unit plugged in the bottom of the USB cable, plug this into the side of your computer. And the unit will just say, please perform operations on your computer. Now we just want to run this update file here. Double click on it. Just taking a second because the computer is doing a scan. Now we're going to click update here. The other option here are uh, like feedback is if we need to do like feedback if we're having issues connecting or performing a function. Um, but we're doing update in the here. Updating the main file. You can see it's saying updating on the device and updating on the computer as well. So the whole process should take about five minutes. Um, updating library, update success. Oh, there you go, 194 seconds. Um, and you can see on here it's gone back to it's like a main screen. So we can just go OK and now exit. So that's the machine updated. So you can actually go into here now and if you wanted to go across. Um, and see the software version of 1.20 and the library version. Um, just gives you an idea of what it's up to. So if you check that before you did it and then after you can see that it's obviously updated. So that's how you update the software on, on the OBD2 scans FST range of scan tools. So you just need to get the right one depending on what like model you have. This is FST39, which is for uh, Ford vehicles.